What's up guys? It is 8.45, about to take some pre-workout. Um, it's Saturday night, about to hit some arms and shoulders. So I'm taking two scoops of Icy Blue Raz, and I'm doing it the manly way. Not putting it in my water, just putting it right in my mouth. So uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing guys. I'm gonna go hit some arms and shoulders. Uh, stay tuned. There you have it guys, I feel like it hits the bloodstream a little bit faster that way, that's why I do it that way. There's nothing wrong with either way, just if you put it in your water and mix it up, some might, you know, go to the bottom, you might not get it up, so I'd rather just take it straight in my mouth, but um, gonna wait about 20 minutes and start walking to the gym, I'm um, feeling pretty pumped and I'm ready to go. What's good guys, so um, yesterday I was going through some old emails, just clearing out my inbox, just deleting stuff, and I realized that I had bought Vince Delmani's 100 Red Muscle program on February 22nd, and um, so it's a month long program, so it's officially been a month, so I am done with the program. Um, I really liked the protocol, I feel like I learned a lot about... Um, uh, an anabolic hormone that most people don't know about, um, IDF1, which actually aids the production of growth hormone. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's its own growth hormone. Um, it's basically insulin-related, which uh, everybody thinks insulin is this evil hormone. It's actually vital to building muscle. It's you know, if you're trying to lose fat, it can't hurt you. But if you're trying to build muscle, it's very necessary. So um, it also aids in the production of growth hormone, like I said. So I learned a lot about that. I learned a lot about how to make the body make more of it as well. And um, I feel like I really responded differently than I do to Moves Protocol, and I really liked it a lot. But that being said, this means that I needed a new program. So I went ahead and I wrote myself a new program. I'm doing a... Uh, a powerlifting protocol, I guess. It is a 531. So basically, um, I'm doing one day that's deadlift, which is going to be back oriented. One day that is bench press, which is going to be triceps and chest. Um, then I'm going to do squats, which is just going to be a leg day. And then I'm going to need to do a overhead press, which will be biceps and shoulders. What's up, guys? Just got done a leg workout. Which you will see in a moment here. Drinking a little protein shape, two scoops, vanilla ice cream, optimum nutrition whey. And I got a Pop Tart, guys. So, uh, you know, for those of you who are like, oh my god, Nick, you're like trying to slim out. You know, you can't eat a Pop Tart. You know, what happened to your chewy granola bars? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that it's just not that serious. Um, you know, Pop Tart's got 10 more grams of carbs, one more gram of fat. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, what does that really matter? Not much at all. I mean, that's what, like 70 calories or something? I mean, I think I can afford the extra 70 calories. You know, I'm 170 pounds at six foot one. You know, I had, I'm an ectomorph. I'm going to drop weight fast. So it's just not that serious. And I think I deserve a little, a little special treat because I just fucked the legs all the way up, as Chris Jones would say. Uh, today was really the first time I can ever truly say that I hit my legs with everything that I had. Um, you know, I was doing slow eccentrics. I was doing heavy weights, short rest periods. I mean, I hit them hard. I'm going to be sore in the next few days. So um, enjoy the commentary. If you like the video, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. What's up, guys? Today I'll be taking you through my new leg workout. 
Um, first thing, first I did my heavy squats. Uh, this week's protocol was three sets of five. I did 165, 195, and oh no, 190 and 215. Um, I'm really happy with my form here. I was really focusing on pushing out my knees and um, I was watching a Johnny Candido video on how to squat the other day. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. Um, he says, he emphasizes the upper back a lot and he says that you should be flexing at your shoulders as if you were about to do an overhead press. So I was grabbing the bar and I was really flexing my traps and my deltoids and really pressing that bar against my back instead of just kind of holding it. Um, so I thought that really helped me. Um, he also says to work on breaking at the knees instead of at the hips which um, that was just a nice cue for me. I really felt that if I broke at the knees that I would push my knees outward and not sit back and put so much stress on my lower back. So um, overall, these squats felt good. I know that the set of 215 looks difficult and I, you know, I couldn't do it unbroken, but um, you know, I felt good on it. I got all the reps. Uh, you know, I could have easily gotten more than five, I believe. So. Um, you know, next week I might push myself for more than just three, which the next protocol is three by three. So yeah, and um, next I did straight legged deadlifts. I did three sets at, I believe, 205. Um, one thing I want to talk about, guys, as well, is in between my sets of squats, which I don't record this, but I think it's important to do, is um, just doing some active stretching. Uh, I like to do some lunges, not actual lunges, but um, like lunge stretch to uh, stretch out my hip flexors because I have really tight hip flexors and weak hamstrings, um, you know, and I just like to improve my overall flexibility. I also do uh, just some basic yoga positions like downward dog and upward dog, just again working on my total body flexibility. Um, then I went ahead and did some split squats. Uh, I really, this is my first time really doing these. I really felt the burn. These, uh, I'll definitely be feeling these for the next couple of days. Then I finished it off with three sets of 40 seconds each of leg extensions and leg curls uh, with very slow eccentrics. Um, those definitely burned a lot too. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video and I'll talk to you next time.